Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from Unkert Education here. In this video, we're going to install Hugo, which is a static site generator, on a Windows PC. The first thing we need to do is open up a browser. So let's open up a browser here, and I'm going to search for Hugo Static Site. Okay, and the website we want is actually gohugo.io. So let's click on that, and here you'll have a button that says Quick Start. We can click on that. Now this actually goes into like prerequisites and how to create content and that kind of thing. But for installation, we want to look on the side here and click on installation and that'll expand this out. And we want to go down here, highlight and click on windows. Okay. So we can scroll down and there's a bunch of different ways we can do this. Um, but I'm going to use the pre-built binary. So I'm going to go to the latest release page. So I'll click on this link here. And if I go down here, I want to do the extended version. So I'm going to alert, look for Hugo Extended and then Windows AMD 64 because I have a 64-bit Windows machine. Um, if we look up here and we don't have the extended version, you'll see we have a Windows uh, AMD 64 zip. Also an ARM if you have one of those processors for Windows. Okay, so I'm going to download this zip file, the Windows AMD 64 zip for the extended version. Okay, I'm, once it's downloaded, I'm going to go to my downloads folder here and I'm going to extract the file. So I'm going to click extract all and I'm going to extract. Okay, so now I can go into this extracted folder here and there's three files. So I'm just going to highlight all three files and copy those files. Then I'm going to go to this PC click on this and go to program files and I'm going to create a new folder and I'll have to give administrator permission. So I'll click continue and the new folder I'm going to name Hugo with a capital H. Okay. I'm going to go inside that folder and create another new folder. And again, I'll have to give administrator permission. I'm going to type title this one bin and inside of bin, I'm going to paste in these three files, which again, I'll have to give administrator permission. Okay. So it's going to make me do it for each file. Okay. Once I'm done with that, I can go up here and right click and copy the address of the bin folder. Okay. What I'm going to do now is go down to my search bar and search for environment variables. I'm going to click open. And when I get here, I get on this advanced tab at the bottom here, I have environment variables. I'll click on that. I'm going to go down to system variables here, click on path and click edit. And then once this uh, pop-up comes up, I'm going to click new and I'm going to paste in that address that I just copied. I'll then click okay. Okay. And okay. Now to create a new site with Hugo, I'm going to open up my command prompt. So I'm going to type CMD in the search bar here, and that's going to bring up my command prompt, which I can open. Okay. So now I'm going to open this up. I'm going to change directories into my desktop here. And what I'm going to type is Hugo new site, and then the name of the site. So let's call this Timothy Unkert. And I'm going to hit enter. And now we have uh, the new site created. Now we can install a theme, um, and we could do that via GitHub or get download a theme and put it in the themes folder. I'm just going to show you the directory that Hugo created. So let's close this stuff out here. We see we have this folder, Timothy Unkert. I'm going to open up VS Code here and I'm going to open a folder. My desktop, I'll open the folder that was created by Hugo. And you'll see we have um, the folder with all these assets created, Hugo.toml file. We have the themes folder where we can put our theme in. We have static layouts, so on and so forth, the content folder and so on. Okay, so we now have Hugo successfully installed on a Windows machine. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. If it was, uh, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.